Who's your I fucking hate this guy guy? My 30 something year old neighbor. We share a property line with this clown. I planted a row of lilac bushes almost 25 years ago and he wants me to take them out because he says they block the sun from his garden. The lilacs are planted well on our side of the property line, but he thinks that his back fence was built two feet into his property and that the lilacs are really on his property. This has been going on for over three years, so I shelled out 3k for a survey and lo and behold the property line is exactly where I thought is was. Three feet from my lilac hedge. The fence is being erected as soon as the ground thaws. Huck him at its spelling. I used to work as a receptionist for an OP office and there was a patient's husband that we all loathed. He called his wife a fat cow in front of the nurse. When she was in the hospital having baby number 9 and needed an emergency C-section the hospital had to get security involved because he was blocking the door so they couldn't take her to the OR. He refused to let her have a hysterectomy even though she had a lot of medical issues that could have been resolved by that. She didn't legally need his permission but they were Amish so she submitted to him. He made her try for a vaginal delivery after a C-section even though it was more risky. He wouldn't let her take insulin for her gestational diabetes. I came to the conclusion that he was trying to make her die without actually pulling the trigger physically. He was an absolute monster and I still think about her and wonder if she's okay. Six years later I still remember her name. Social worker here. It's really hard to get services and supports into closed communities like this. Hopefully at one of her medical appointments she will have a free space to speak. Otherwise she's probably on baby 12 by now. A few years after she had baby number 10 she showed up at our office as a support person for her pregnant 17-year-old and confided to one of our nurses that she was more than halfway through another pregnancy but she hadn't told anyone yet. The entire situation was just heartbreaking. And you're right. It's so hard to get them to open up to social services or anyone because they're taught anyone outside their religion doesn't understand and they're worldly. I think I'm starting to see cracks in their shield which is really encouraging. Someone I follow on Instagram just shared that she's been working on a project with Peacock that will air in March called Sins of the Amish that will highlight sexual abuse and how it's covered up. My expus was a colossal dick. You know this type who are always right even when they are wrong. Easily passes you any work they deem hard while having this mentality that you are some kind of computer-controlled drone who exists to telepathically know what he needs and when designed to serve him guy had this belief that everything can only be done right if done his way. Anything else is faulty, even if it's done properly as it's dictated by the client. I still remember this event. I was upside in an attic fixing wiring when I hear this conversation below. Expus. This was made the wrong way. Umbrella disappointment is such a useless worker. How can he not understand such a simple task? Boss 2 enters the scene and is not aware of the previous complaints. What's the matter did John, other worker, did something bad with that one? Expus, John did this. Boss 2, yeah, he just finished an hour ago. Something is wrong. Expus. Nah. It's perfect. Tell him it was good work. With a suit guy from train to Busan. Been a while since a movie made me actually hate someone, but this dude is another level. My sister. Pretty sure she's a sociopath manipulates and takes advantage of weaker people. Refuses to get help. Even though she calls herself crazy. My best friend moved to a different state. Met a guy and quickly got engaged. She brought him to meet us and he told me how much he made within the first 10 min. Asked what I made. Scoffed at the amount. Said he would never live in my app because we didn't have an elevator. Said he would never be caught dead driving in a car like mine. Also said he buys new cars every two years. Talked over my friend constantly. I would ask her a question and he would answer for her. He complained about the amount of money she made and made fun of her job. She's a social worker who works with underage girls that have eating disorders. He styles his mustache to do that pretentious curl thing with wax. Fuck that guy. My brother's uncle, I refuse to claim him. That's an alcoholic and a drug addict that put my grandparents through hell. Some of the gems he said to his mother's face why don't you just give me my inheritance now why would I ought to ruin my Christmas Eve by spending it with you then once she died, it was oh boo hoo. Swore he would put family first. He then proceeded to treat my grandfather like shit. And because grandpa lived with me, I saw it firsthand. He would say he was coming over on Sunday. So grandpa would be up at the crack of dawn ready to go and would be sitting watching out the window like a kid who has divorced parents and is waiting for his dad to show up for his weekend. He would sit there all day. And then be heartbroken when the fucker didn't show up and never called. Listening to my grandfather cry because he was so upset made me see red. Then once grandpa died. It was all boo who poor me all over again. Since both of my grandparents were now gone, I ripped into him and told him exactly what I thought of him. That was 13 years ago. And it still wasn't enough for me. 
Recently he told his probation officer that he lived with me and gave his PO my address. The PO then comes to me looking for him. That was a fun conversation. Pessa pathetic. Worthless. Waste of oxygen. And I hope he dies cold. Alone and painfully slowly. These are just a couple examples. But don't even scratch the surface of what a piece of shit he is. There was a person who told me he has the right to have sex with a girl in my class because his father is an independent entrepreneur while the girl is employed at an agency. And if Copeland is a good starting point. Can I be general? The guy who abruptly stops walking in the middle of a hallway sidewalk or has their neck completely craned over their phone and is walking at like two steps per minute. I know I'm American and the stereotype is that we're all rushing around busy, but seriously dude. I have long legs and places to be. They cut the pace. The type of people where you can see right through their bullshit but nobody else can. So I have played in bands in many areas and on many different stages. This covers more of a type of guy it's the dude who is in a local band that are popular and now think that because they buy views on YouTube that they are the next big thing and will bring the scene back and look down on every other band. But their band are actually not as good as they think they are. The kind that has more merch than songs and the music is just a bit. Meh. All bands are doing the same thing. Support and lift up the local bands, network and celebrate when they do well. It isn't that hard to just not be a complete egotistical dick. That guy. The drunk random guy who follows you and your friends around on a night out. Worked as a receptionist at an eye doctor glasses store for a bit. There was this one dude who I kept needing to call, confirm exam appointment. Question about order. His glasses are ready. His glasses were ready a week ago and he still hasn't picked them up. Etc. This dude never answered his phone, and his voicemail message was two minutes of him acting like he couldn't hear you, hello. Dot. Hello. I can't hear you etc. And then him saying just text me, and then you hear the beep for the voicemail machine to start recording. First time I fell for it because he did a genuinely convincing job. Every other time I had to sit through this long ass thing to be able to actually leave a message. That this idiot thought he was so clever and didn't even consider that someone other than his friends would call. No, I can't just text you from the vision center's landline. Hope this guy gets a clue before he applies to jobs with us or something. Fuck that guy at it, thanks to everyone who mentioned the Archer gag, just watched a compilation on YouTube and it's great. In fiction. Also all of Archer's voicemail messages are so much shorter than this guy's. Any guy that sends unwanted dick pic two second into the conversation. Any dude whose personality revolves around being alpha. Bobby Kotick. This guy ruined so many good games. Ruined Blizzard. Overlooks sexual assault and is going to walk away with tens of millions for being fired, technically resigned. So yeah, fuck that guy. The first time I heard of the guy was about 12 years ago when Modern Warfare 2 came out. The developers wanted bonuses promised to them that Kodak refused to deliver, so they sued until the matter was settled outside of court. I recall reading that Kodak had never even played a video game in his life. So he was just in the industry for the money. He has no love for it. The guy has always been a bastard. Not a guy, but my middle school algebra teacher. I got my period at the beginning of class, and she refused to let me go to the bathroom. I bled all over myself for over an hour and had to wear bloody clothes the rest of the day. Fuck you. This is Lynn edit to add. I didn't tell her what had happened. Because I was very young and embarrassed by the whole thing. Still. The idea of denying students the right to go to the bathroom when required is insane. Shouldn't people just walk out of class in these situations? I taught my daughter and son to walk out if you feel you can't hold something in. You can't hold in a period. Some fucked up situation to be in. I'll defend my kids if they need defending. Rules be fucked if there's an emergency. A former HS teammate of mine. Was just a huge jerk to everyone and what pissed me off the most about him was his IG stories would be about how God wants you to be a really nice person, mind you I'm religious too I'm not knocking that part but then he's a complete jackass Earl. Edit out for me specifically since day one. The only dude on this planet I genuinely hate. My ex-best friend former crush. He was actually my dad's friend first, even though the guy was like 20 years younger than my dad. And only 3 years older than me. When I first met him. I thought he was a cool dude and we had a lot in common. The thing is though. He loved to drink. Like a lot. I saw him polish off 2 thirds of a case of beer on several occasions. Meanwhile I hardly ever drink. And if I do. It's only one drink. But that aside. I still managed to develop a crush on him, he was an attractive guy at the time. After knowing him for a year. I decided to shoot my shot and confess to him, I had never done so before. And haven't since. At first he completely friends owned me. But then he would flip flop and act like he was interested. He constantly held it over my head that I asked him out and would sometimes act like he was interested. And like a naive. 
Love sick idiot I let him do it. I know I should have told him off. But I never did. So this went on for about 6 months until one fateful night. When he did something so cruel and unforgivable. To make an already long story short. He intentionally took a lit piece of paper and burned my then 8 year old brother in 3 places, he'd been alone with my brother several times before and nothing ever happened. I never saw him again after that night. My parents rightfully pressed charges. And he was charged with child abuse. Last I heard he got 8 months in jail and like 2 or 3 years probation since it was his first offense. Every time I think about him all I feel is anger and regret. And sorrow over what my poor brother went through. So yeah, fuck that guy. There were these two stereotypical dumb fuckboys at my last job. Inconsiderate, blasting loud shitty trap music. Talked about how they both have hoes for days. Show up to work drunk or high. Never talked about anything intelligent. Fuck I couldn't stand those fuckers. The guy who bullied me for three years straight for fun. I kicked my bully's ass when he sucker punched me in the hall one day. The only reason I didn't before was because he was faster than me. One day he made the mistake of doing it during passing time and as it turns out. While he was a faster runner than me, I was better at navigating through crowds. He was the kind of kid who everybody thought was hot shit because he was an asshole. I kicked his ass in front of the whole school and he ate lunch in the bathroom for a week. He used to work with a guy who bragged about having sex with my ex-girlfriend. While I was with her. We were 16 and 17. He was in his 20s. Also she wasn't conscious. My neighbor she's got a meth addiction super crazy. When she gets high she runs up and down the street naked. Has tackled me four times to save me from aliens, and she once called the police and said I murdered a baby in her closet. Don't do meth kids then you will be like trailer trash Tammy. This one guy who is trying to sell his self-motivation program when he has absolutely zero training. Credentials. Or anything to counsel people. He talks out of his ass on Facebook lives all the time. Based on what I know about his personal life he is in no position to be hawking his program. I feel bad for being that annoyed with him because he's been pretty nice to me, but he could really harm someone with what he's doing and it really bothers me. Edit to add, I forgot he also started trying to sell a workout diet program after going to the gym for less than two months. Absolute grifter. My mother's side grandmother this bitch is the definition of a toxic person and ruined my extended family relation for a long time. She is the main reason my cousin, F20, has depression and probably some worse things. On the bright side I recently learned that this piece of shit decided that me and my brothers are no longer existing in her eyes. Good riddance I don't have to deal with her. Just gonna wait her death to celebrate at a clarification, mother's side grandmother equals grandmother from my mother's side. Leaving the original as it is because the confusion it causes is fun. My sister's boyfriend. Fuckhead throws her around like a rag doll whenever he gets pissy at her. Hold a knife on her during an argument once. Tried to fight me twice cause I hurt it his feelings, he's 20 and I'm 15. Though I'm a big ass 15 year old. Talks shit about my mom, dad, grandma. Talks shit about my late grandma even after she died. Skips work half the time just to be with her. Is racist. Bigoted, never knows what he's talking about. Isn't in school for shit, never pays the rent he agreed to and spends his paycheck on junk food. Talks shit about my favorite cousin, threatens to kick the ass of any dude my sister even mentions in conversation and even made a sexual remark about a friend of mine when she was 13 and he was about 17. Fuck. Him. Oh and he cries and plays victim when you call him out on his shit. Highly recommend talking to your parents and encouraging them to find resources, DV helplines. Organizations to get your sister out of that relationship. Sounds like he is working hard to isolate her from her support network and it's likely he'll win in the end. Once a weapon has been pulled in a DV relationship. The chances of the victim being murdered go through the roof. It's something that is literally on the risk assessment checklists that support workers use. Also, if you can. Seek support for yourself, school counselor or a trusted adult. Being close to this kind of violence can be really hard and you deserve to feel safe mentally and physically. Source. I'm a former family violence worker.